Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do another really fun Dutch pour that's crazy, lots of colour, really bright. Um, you might remember the video for this painting down here. In fact, I'll show you a bit closer. It, I poured all the colours on and then blew the paint out from, from this point here just to create this mad crazy bright intense painting so i'm going to do another one of those um it's going to be a slightly smaller canvas but this time i'm going to try and blow the colors out into more of a gradient so um, maybe start with paler colors in the middle and then have dark around the outside um so it's going to have a bit of a different feel to it than this one um similar colors though so let me show you the colors so this is what I'm going to use. So um, some iridescent green yellow by Pebio, De La Rani Thalo Turquoise, Pebio um, iridescent blue green, Amsterdam permanent blue violet, Amsterdam ultramarine violet, Royal and Langnickel magenta, De La Rani pearl white, Pebio iridescent gold and Pebio iridescent orange. And this colour, and I think that is Amsterdam quinacridone rose or rose light not quite sure but i just felt it mixed so i've got my pinks my purples orange and gold and sort of turquoise and green so a real real mixture all these paints are mixed with flood flow troll so i'll put the recipe in the description of this video i'm using a 29 by 42 centimeter canvas one difference with this painting is i'm going to have the colors starting from the center and going outwards. Last time I loved it, um, it was off centre, but I want to try it from the centre going outwards. So I want to have darker around the edge, um, and the colour I loved in the last one that was darker around the edge was my permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. So I'm going to just drizzle a little bit on. So I've got my edge and then I'm going to work, work inwards. I'm going to guess the centre is about there. So I'm not going to put these on in any particular order. I'm just going to go with what, what feels right. I'm not worrying too much if there's any bald patches because as I blow this out, all the paint, all the canvas will get covered. And I'm, I will be coming back with some other colours again as well. So if I've got some left, if, got some, if I haven't got enough paint on, I'll just add more of the same colours again. Um, right, a bit of the tur darker turquoise around the edge. lighter turquoise is going to be a bit nearer the centre. I must remember to go over the centre. Right, let's add some pinks. And I think I'm going to say that's done now. Right, let's have fun. Let's blow this out. Let's see what happens. Wow, I love it. Oh my goodness. 
the pink has taken over a little bit, but the contrast, you've got the paler centre, you've got the darker edge. Wow, the colours are amazing. Right, I'm being ultra, ultra critical now. This pink extends right out towards this edge here, but it doesn't here. I'm being really hypercritical, but I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to add a bit more. Oh, have I run out of orange? Oh no, it's in the pot. Right, that hasn't really improved things. It has here, but now I'm not here and here. No, I've totally ruined it now. Totally ruined it. Right, plan B, I've totally wrecked this now. I should have just left it alone. I'm going to scrape it and I'm just going to do it again. Because this edge is beautiful. I want this edge with a smaller pink section in the middle. I'm gutted because that was absolutely beautiful, but I've made a not perfect painting awful. So, wow, look at that, isn't that pretty? So not a problem, but, well, the only problem is that it wastes a lot of paint, but I want a painting that I'm happy with. So why would I waste the painting, waste the canvas, waste the opportunity of doing a painting that I can be happy with over, yeah. So let's do that again. So I did run out of some colours. Where are they? Green. Okay, let's start again. I'm going to do it the same way. With my purple. Right, let's try again. Let's see what this does. That is much, much, much more balanced. I'm much happier. The colours are just gorgeous. This time I added that iridescent green. I'd run out of the lighter green, so I just added the, the iridescent green blue. So it's given it quite a different feel to it. Right, let's see what happens. Cells are popping up. I've got a few wiggly lines again I'm just going to get rid of. Right, I'm going to torch it. It's so pretty. Really, really happy now. Slightly worried I've got a lump of my paint there.
Yep, there was something in there. Good, that's out. That's out. These colours are amazing. It, they, it's just so rich and vibrant. Absolutely love it. So, so pretty. So let me show you up close. Can you see it sparkling? So there's so much iridescent in this. It sparkles beautifully. I love the waves, the ripples. Look at that. Just the way the colours all rub up against each other, blend with each other. Um, the, I think the trick to this type of painting is to only blow over it once. I think you get one chance um, because if you blow over it again, the colours will muddy. So at the moment, they haven't muddied. All the colours are very separate, but next to each other. If I, As soon as I do uh, blow over it twice, look at those stripy cells, pink and gold. As soon as I go over it twice, the colours will just muddy. You'll lose the cells. Um, and you'll lose the composition because you'll be able to see where the hairdryer has blown over. Oh, I'm really excited. I love this type of painting. Look at the, the waves of paint, but with the cells. I love how bright, how full on, how intense it is. And just one other thing to show you. Look at these drips. So this is where I um, scraped the first canvas. And then there's some extra paint from blowing over on the second one. Um, I'm just wondering what to do with that. I might dip some um, some little tiles in it to create some, so to make some coasters. Once I lift that up, there's going to be a lot of beautiful paint there. I'll scrape it up and see what colour I get with anything that's left. But it's so pretty as it is. I think I might try and make something with it. Right, back to the painting. Um, I love also the white. The white just adds a brightness to it. So I will be back when it's dry. I just thought I might as well show you what I'm actually going to do with these drips, with these leftovers. Um, so I've got um, some ceramic tile coasters. Um, these are already prepared, ready. So I put some um, tape on the back so that it, the, the back stays nice and clean. clean. So I'm just literally going to dip these in. Um, I think if I can push it in and push it in deeper, then it's going to coat the edges as well. Yep, it is. There's a lot of paint on here, so it's quite a luxury to be able to do that. Wow. That is beautiful. I'm just checking the edges. Yeah, it's missed a tiny bit, so I'm just dabbing it here. Dabbing it on the edge. That is absolutely beautiful. There is so much you can do with paint with drips. So that's just getting the edges. Look at those colours. Wow. Right, that one, I don't like. So, I'm going to do it again. Hmm, actually not, not as keen on that one. Okay. Right, what I quite like is when you pick it up from one side and it creates this line across it's so pretty right let's go over here i 
the sparkle in this is amazing. Got an air bubble there. Right, I have got so much more paint, so now I'm just working out. Shall I get some more coasters or shall I just scrape it? So many options. I think I'm going to get more coasters because these coasters are coming out beautifully. So it's now dry and I'm going to have to try and contain my excitement about this piece because I love it so much. It's just, it's just me. It just works. It's full on. It's intense. Um, it's chaotic. I just like such bright, bold colours. I'm not such a fan of the negative space and the delicate and the elegant paintings. I like bright and bold and brash and I think this is it. Um, let me show you up close and I think my favourite colour has to be the iridescent green blue that I added on just at the end. Um, somehow that's just brought this alive. I don't actually use that colour much. I use more often the blue, green, the bluish green instead of the greenish blue. Um, but this is changing my mind. I love it. It's such a lovely, bright, turquoisey sort of colour. Um, the cells are just gorgeous. The colours, I, I just, I'm just so pleased with it. Um, just such a mix of rainbow colours. The right, it's just so vibrant. Um, I'm really happy with the centre because, <clears throat> excuse me, I have that paler centre. Oh, let's focus. Um, it's paler, but it's quite a small pale centre. Um, and then just let me show you the shine on this. It is electric. It is just so pretty, so shimmery. You can see it's sparkling there. It's so shimmery. So there you go. I'm so pleased with it. <laughs> you probably guessed. Um, please let me know what you think of this. Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing some more in this, this style, this technique. Any colours you think would work really well, let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone. Bye. So I've just thought to bring this out in the garden because it's a beautiful day. And wow, look at those colours. Look how shiny it is and bright and iridescent. Oh, just love it. So happy. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. So I'll let you into a little secret. When I did this painting, at the back of my mind, I had this commission in mind. Um, a client has asked me to do a Mickey Mouse embellishment over a painting. So I did this pour with this in mind, but not knowing if it would work out if I'd end up using it. It turned out, I thought it was perfect for this, for the Mickey Mouse, because the colour, I love the colour, the way the colour stretches out from the centre from Mickey. So it's as if you, the, all the colours are sort of spreading out from his hands. Um, so to do this, I simply just printed out a picture of Mickey Mouse online on a piece of paper, cut it out, blue tacked it on, drew round it and then just painted it on by hand. Um, it's quite a small Mickey and it does, I think, get a little bit lost in the painting, but equally I didn't want it any bigger because I want it to, I want to show off the, the design around the edge of the painting. Um, so I'm really pleased with the result and the client absolutely loves it. Um, so I think it just works so well, this sort of symmetrical um, fluid art to create, um, to, to embellish, to create design in the centre. Um, great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.